LPS tutorial 0.466i this is how we'll look when you first initially install it and start it I'm going to uh, use my media player VLC for it to hook to I have video playing obviously anywhere in the right hand or in the left hand box in the white area right click go to add scene doesn't matter what you name it just hit ok and in source we're going to right click and go to add software capture does not matter what you name it I'm going to do capture window of VLC and in our window and I'm not going to capture my mouse cursor I'm going to hit ok and I'm going to preview stream this is how you see it right now you can highlight and then right click and go up to screen and we still have VLC's controls so I'm going to highlight VLC go to view and minimal view and still have the black borders well open broadcaster software is mainly for 16 by 9 ratio videos so we're going to go to video and 16 by 9 Still got a black border up here, but that's alright. Because that's just because the. So, yeah, I can't fix that. Yeah, anyway, this is how you view it as you see it. I'm going to stop preview, and we're going to set up the stream now. General settings, encoding. I'm going to use a balance of 10, because it is augmented by your max bit rate and your buffer size. For 1.5 megabyte internet, 360 kb is, is a pretty good setting. You can do higher if you have better. And buffer size will be based on how much RAM you feel like wasting. <clears throat> I have a lot of RAM, so I'm just going to go 380 because I feel like it. MP3 audio codec at 48 bit rate is what my microphone sounds like right now. MP3 is horrible. Don't use it. Use AAC. And 64 is below CD quality, 96 is CD quality. That's pretty much how the background music sounds compared to my microphone right now. So. My microphone, my background music. So AAC 96 recommended. And you're going to hit apply. And anyway, broadcast settings. I'm going to use Twitch Justin TV. And since I had a stream key in there, I'm going to hit cancel and go back to it. But for everybody else, you're going to go ahead and get on Twitch TV. You're going to log in. Click on your name and go to dashboard. It'll take you right here. Click streaming apps take you to this page. You're going to click show key and it will pop up right here and it will look something like this. This is not my stream key, this is just some gibberish I, wrote, I whipped out. I'm going to all this, anything after the live, or any, including the live part and anything after it, but it will pop up right here. Hmm. Right click, and copy it, and go to open broadcaster software, all right, right click and paste. If you don't have anything in there you're just going to click paste and use uh, global load balancing service always because say I used Ashburn if Ashburn server gets flooded I could be dropped if I use global load balancing service it will move me to something else in the area so I don't have a drop or I don't have the possibility of being dropped and then hit apply go to video this will be your output resolution for your viewers the size of the size of this box uh, I'm going to use an aspect ratio of 640 by 360. I'm going to leave it at 30 frames per second. If you have older TV shows, 25 frames per second works fine. If you have newer TV shows or are doing video games, 30 frames per second will be fine. Please don't downscale it, it'll just make it look like trash. Disable arrow will help out your system if it's lower end. And hit up here. And move on to audio. Microphone and auxiliary. This will be for people who have virtual audio cables or would like to speak over their cast. If you want to speak over your cast, leave it on default. If you want to use use this for live casting, you leave it on default as well. If you want um, virtual audio cables, select whatever your media player is set up which I believe VLC is set at line 3 so I'm going to select line 3 I'm going to ignore the rest of this because you don't really need any of it unless you want to use you know mute hotkey and whatever so now I'll hit apply 
and you want to advance. Use multi-threading options for optimization if you have a multi-thread or multi-core. And leave it on normal. And video. This is how much you, of your CPU it will use. Like very fast setting is recommended as you can see. You just highlight it or you just you know move your mouse cursor over it and wait and it'll pop up. Faster is for people with better systems. Fast, medium, slow will destroy your system pretty much. They're really intense. Super fast is for people with lower systems. Changing blah blah blah. Go ahead and read that. I'm gonna leave it on very fast because that's what's recommended and it works fine for me. Go ahead and you know you can highlight or excuse me, you can pause your mouse over it and it'll tell you what those mean. But I'm gonna use the send buffer because I have a huge amount of RAM and I'm gonna set it for the highest possible. And I'm not gonna bind it because I don't care. And that's it for the settings. We got a stream key in, we got our output box set up, we got our video settings, and audio settings, and our encoding settings, and we're good to go. Preview stream, as you notice it changed this, so we're gonna right click or in a highlight, right click and put the screen again. Make sure this is always working, always preview your stream before you start. And then we can go ahead and go to our channel. Oh wait, yeah, Twitch. I got you a Twitch key, but Justin TV, you're gonna log in, and then your name, go to channel settings, click to this page, and there's your stream key right there. And like I said, it'll look something like this, so you wanna click on every, the live and everything after it. So, anyway. OBS, TV stream, yep, I'm good to go. And I'm gonna change this down to. 35 because I'm doing something else at the moment. Let me start streaming. This will just be to show you that it will, it will be full screen. <coughs> For 16 by 9 ratio videos only. Or, you know, desktops. There you go. Another great aspect about OBS. This is covered now by Firefox. But as you can see, it's not covered up. So, anyway, I hope this helps.